Support comes from the Missouri Forest Products Association, committed to conservation and careful management of the state's forests to make them more resilient and better habitats for wildlife. Choosewood.com. Welcome to St. Louis on the Air. I'm Sarah Fenske. As a longtime Girl Scout, Lauren Van Landingham has earned quite a few badges, but last week she scored a much bigger honor. The 19-year-old St. Louis area resident was named a 2019 National Gold Award Girl Scout. She's one of just 10 in the nation this year. The honor is reserved for Girl Scouts nationwide who have taken action to address the world's most pressing issues. In Van Landingham's case, that's cancer, and her advocacy has taken the form of two remarkable projects. Joining us by phone to talk about her passion for this cause and all the hard work she's put into it is Lauren Van Landingham. Lauren, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you so much for having me. And also here and in studio is Ulrice Duke Rawlings. She's the Chief Marketing and Communications Officer for the Girl Scouts of Eastern Missouri. Ulrice, welcome to the show. Thank you. Happy to be here. So first, Lauren, tell us about how um, cancer ended up becoming something that you decided to focus on. Well, cancer has been a huge part of my life for as long as I can remember. When I was three years old, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. And at the time, I really did not understand the enormity of her diagnosis, but it was six years later when my grandfather had his own battle with cancer that I understood how important cancer had been in my life. I'm thankful that they're both survivors today, but um, between their two cancer battles, it has inspired me to become an active volunteer and advocate for the cancer community. Now tell us, what are these two projects that you ended up taking on? Both of these were pretty impressive to me. I can't believe you had time to do both, not just one, but tell us about it. So the first the first part of my project was developing this website. And um, the website, a millionletters.org, um, the whole idea behind it was to give people around the world the resources to help those cancer patients and to give resources to cancer patients. So those wanting to help cancer patients could support cancer patients through letter writing. Um, Over the course of the year, I talked to many, many kindergartners all the way up to senior citizens in person on how to help cancer patients through letter writing. And these letters um, were in turn distributed to different hospitals, cancer organizations, and oncology centers across the nation, giving those resources to the people that needed the most. Mm-hmm. By putting these online, they were available 24-7 internationally. Um, and the second part of my project, I really wanted to get cancer survivors involved. I knew, how, I knew how impactful it could be to hear that someone has been exactly where, you have you, where you've been and have survived. So I got 10 different cancer survivors, and I got their stories and their advice and their encouragement for newly diagnosed patients. And that ended up becoming a book? Yes, and I put those interviews into a book. That's amazing. Um, Orise, so tell us, how big an honor is this that, that Lauren has gotten this award for, for these two projects here? It's an amazing achievement, and we are so proud of Lauren and her accomplishments, as well as the accomplishments of, you know, all of our Girl Scouts. The process for um, a woman being, I guess, um, selected as a National Gold Award Girl Scouts is very rigorous. Um, there are 111 Girl Scout councils across the United States, and each one has the opportunity to nominate three um, Gold Award Girl Scouts, and Lauren was one of our three that we had nominated. And from there, um, the nominations go to GSUSA. They have a committee that also evaluates each of the um, nominations, and from there, they select the top 10. Okay. So this is, there's sort of this rigorous process here. What comes with this honor beyond the fame and glory of getting to be on St. Louis on the air? Well, the girls develop amazing leadership and life skills from critical thinking, learning to negotiate their presentation skills, but um, they also are able to distinguish themselves in the college, university, trade school application process. They're able to enter the military at one um, higher pay grade. And above all, they're just building these incredible skills that enable them to lead in our communities, in our workforce, and in their lives. So Lauren, how does this fit into your goals for your life? It's been extremely helpful, and especially the college process. I have um, I've, I'm a college freshman at the University of Mississippi. So during a, during the process of applying to a college, I automatically I had the first thing that came to my head when it came to writing a college essay was I had to write about my goal to work project. It had been such a huge it had left a huge impact on my life, and I had to write about how not only was I leaving an impact on others, but I was leaving an impact on myself. Not 
and um, can't even forget about the amazing scholarships that are out there for Girl Scout Gold Award. Oh, so scholarships can come. Orise, tell us a little bit about that. Sure. As part of a, um, you know, Gold Award Girl Scout, you are eligible for a variety of different scholarships that are out there. And girls are encouraged to look at both our website as well as our national chartering organization, Girl Scouts of the USA, for a list of scholarships that are available. So, Lauren, that's something, um, obviously, you didn't, you weren't able to take advantage of in your freshman year, but it might make your sophomore year um, even more affordable. Exactly. Especially college... Um, I found out that college is very expensive, and it's been extremely helpful in not only allowing me to continue on my education, but helping me figure out what I was passionate about. So when I got here, I I knew exactly what I wanted my major to be, and I knew what I was passionate about. Now, Lauren, we have time for just one more question, and unfortunately, it's going to be kind of a loaded one, but I feel like so many of us end up saying nothing when we're dealing with somebody in our life who has cancer. We're afraid of saying the wrong thing. So what would you recommend to a fledgling letter writer who's hoping to give support to somebody in their life with cancer? The biggest thing I talk about um, when writing letters to cancer patients is saying anything is better than saying nothing at all. When you're diagnosed with cancer, it can be overwhelming. You could feel so alone. But knowing that knowing that you have a friend or a family member that is writing you this letter that cares and just is showing you that, that they are there to support you is truly impactful. And it is, it is amazing to know that you are not alone in your battle. So people shouldn't hold back. They should, they should write that letter. Yes, they should definitely go for it. Lauren Van Landingham, thank you so much for joining us, and congratulations on this huge honor. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. And Orise Duke-Rawlings, thank you so much for being here. It's been a pleasure. Support comes from the Missouri Forest Products Association, providing more than 41,000 jobs in the production of wood pallets, railroad ties, white oak barrels, hardwood floors, and more. Details at ChooseWood.com. Support comes from the Missouri Forest Products Association. Missouri produces wood pallets, railroad ties, white oak barrels, hardwood floors, and more. Details on the variety of products made in the state are at ChooseWood.com.